Okay, this is a quick question which is not common in uh, the exam. Um, it has the advantage that, unlike some of the other ones where you have to have other knowledge, it is purely about using fractions. So we have two algebraic fractions that are being added together. Uh, we need to solve this to find out what x is to make it work. And to solve that, we need to turn it into um, a single algebraic expression that we can then combine. So the way to combine them is to cross multiply by the the opposite denominator. So the, we get that the product on the bottom as being the, um, the the product of these two terms gives us our, our denominator. So on top we're going to have 3 times 2x minus 3 Add to that 2 times x plus 1. So now both of these have been combined. We can write them as a product underneath. And that is equal to 1. And what we're going to do in a moment is multiply this up. But before we do that, we're just going to expand this using FOIL. So we get 2x, 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 1 is plus 2x, minus the x times 2 is minus 3x, minus 3 times two, uh, 1 is minus 3, so these two combine in the middle to get me minus x. So now multiply up, so that the, we get two terms and we're going to multiply out the brackets as well in the next line. We need all the terms so we can combine them into single, collect all the like terms together. So we get 6x minus 9 plus, and if this was a negative, it's often worth putting these into brackets when you multiply into the bracket so that this sign, if it's negative, we distribute properly. We get 2x plus 2, and that is equal to this one brought up 2x squared minus x minus 3 and that's multiplied by the 1 so that's why that comes up there and now we have 6x plus 2x and take it away from the other side so first of all we've got no x squared so we've got our 2x squared 6x plus 2x is 8x subtract from this side is minus 9x um, then do the number minus nine plus two is plus uh, minus seven. So add that to that side, and that's plus four. Check that minus seven. Yeah, that's nine plus two is minus seven. Bring it to the other side. We're adding seven to give us plus four. And now we look for two brackets. Um, Oh no, we can get two brackets. This will factorise. If not, you could use the quadratic formula. But I recognise that I've got 2x, and factors of 4 and 1 can be 4 and 1. So when we do 2x times 4, we get 8x, 1x times x, uh, x. Signs need to be the same, but I want a negative answer, so they're both negative. So this now gives me two possible answers. We get when this bracket is zero, x equals minus goes to the other side is one over two, and the four goes to the other side, x equals four.